Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make beats like Post Malone. I'm actually going to show you how I made the beat from my previous video on how to make vocals like Post Malone. That video actually got a lot of views, so that was kind of surprising. And a lot of people wanted to know how to make that beat, so I'm gonna show you today. So let's get started. Set the BPM to 130, which is kind of unusual for hip hop, but this is more like a chill beat and it works pretty well with that BPM. So first of all, we are going to start with the pad. So for the sound I'm using Nexus, and I'm using this chill zone synth or pad. For the pad you want to use something like dreamy and pretty chill, and this sound is perfect, so yeah. Also I went to mod and enabled the portamento mode, set it up like this, so every time new notes are coming, they kind of transition from the previous notes, there's this pitch transition between the notes. So we want to set up some chords. So go to piano roll and what I recommend actually to make it interesting is to go to stamp tool and go to advanced chords. These are all the chords you can use. FL Studio will automatically create them. So I recommend trying this out and seeing if you can get something more unique than just the basic chords. So yeah, select one of the chords and then just pick a note. I'm gonna go with C sharp and just drag the chord out so it plays longer actually even longer and then we're gonna create a follow-up chord after that and I'm just gonna create a basic chord here so it sounds pretty good it's always interesting to test out the chords from the stamp tool because they give you uh, different harmonies than you usually get with your basic chords, so yeah. As far as the effects go on this sound, I'm using some reverb to give it even more dreamy feel and I also boosted the high frequencies with the EQ so the sound is more powerful in the mix. So yeah, let's put that sound into our playlist and move on. So next we are going to create the sub bass. We're gonna use 808s from FKI first, which I'm pretty sure is the guy who is making beats for Post Malone as well, so it's cool to use his samples in this example. So yeah, I have this sub bass here. But as you can hear it got a lot of high frequencies, so I'm gonna use EQ to delete all the high frequencies here. And I also put sound goodies here on it, basically to compress it so it's louder. Since we cut the high frequencies, the bass sounds like this which is a really nice, powerful 808. And I also enabled the portamento and moved the slide a bit, so every time the notes change, there is this pitch transition between the notes as well. Also, since this 808 is in key of E, you wanna click on it and set the root note to E. So right click on the E note and that will set the root note to E, so the notes in piano roll will represent the actual notes. Now let's go to piano roll and create the notes. So what you wanna do here is basically create same root notes as you did for the chords. So that was C and G. As far as the rhythm goes, we want to go with something chill and slow. So turn on metronome and let's hear it. And the root note of our second chord was G sharp. So that's what we're going to go with. And yeah, those are our notes. So to keep it interesting, I put multiple 808s one after another at the end. But this is not the end. Now let's copy the notes, hold Control and left click and drag the mouse. And now hold Control B and that's gonna copy the notes. And in the second repetition of this bass, guess what? We're gonna put the notes at the end higher, just like everyone does. We're gonna put them on D sharp. So yeah, now we have the chords and the bass, so let's hear it, how it sounds together. That's really nice, pretty chill, and we are ready to move on to the drums. And that is the last element of this particular beat. So yeah, let's set up a basic beat, pretty classic, nothing out of the ordinary, just the basic hip hop beat. We are gonna be using this kick, this snare, and this uh, little snare as a fill.
And yeah, that's pretty much the beat. Really basic. We are using a kick and a snare, and this little snare to fill up the empty spaces. Also, I put some reverb on the snare, so it's more chill and loose, and not like in your face. And also, don't forget to sidechain the bass and the pad with the kick. But basically what it means, every time the kick hits, the other sounds get uh, lower in volume. That will make the kick sound better in the mix. If you want, check out my tutorial on that, link is in the description. Another big part of the drums are the hi-hats. So let's create the hi-hats now. So a funny thing to do with hi-hats is to use different pitch for each note. That will actually create a pretty nice effect and you can hear it in the background and it sounds really nice. So let's do that right now. And also you can use like triplets or multiple notes run after another with hi-hats. That is also a cool effect. So the way you do that, you hold Alt key and you just put a bunch of notes one after another. And let's just continue. And yeah, those are our hi-hats. Also, I put a bunch of reverb on the hi-hats and made the dryness lower, so the hi-hats are more subtle in the background. We can also add another hi-hat, just another little effect, just like this, just to keep it interesting. And one more thing we're gonna add is the right. Just so the drums are kind of fuller and everything is fit together. Let's also make it fade. So that's like a little effect in the background as well. So let's add that and our beat is pretty much ready. Let's have a listen. And that's pretty much it. Go check out my Patreon if you want to download the project file of this beat and lots of other project files as well, along with other stuff. So yeah, go check that out. I know it's pretty basic, but I think the beat sounds pretty good. And there are a lot of possibilities to just edit this and mess around with it. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.